Welcome to Monroe TV. My name is Tim and you are now watching the episode on defined benefits versus defined contributions. An employer may provide pension fund benefits to help his employees save for retirement. There are many two types of pension funds, namely defined benefits and defined contribution pension funds. For defined benefit funds, a member is guaranteed to receive retirement benefits based on a set formula. There is no underlying fund value. The lump sum and annuity received at retirement are defined upfront with a formula, usually involving the following. Number of years of service, the final salary, and age at retirement. For defined contribution funds, the contributions are fixed at a percentage of basic salary each month. And each member builds up their own underlying fund, usually with a choice of funds and ability to switch these funds. The lump sum and annuity can only be determined at retirement based on the eventual fund value and market annuity rates at that time. So how does this matter in our calculation? First, we look at projection of income. For defined benefit funds, we allow for the lump sum at retirement and the pension from retirement date onwards. This is because we can calculate what amounts will be payable as per fund rules. For defined contribution funds, we do not know what benefits the member will receive at retirement. We account for these benefits by increasing the pre-retirement income by the amount of the employer's contribution and allowing for the tax break on the employee's contribution. Secondly, we look at the tax treatment. From 1st of March 2016, the total of the employer and employee's contributions are deductible up to 27.5% of taxable income. The growth in pension funds is tax-free, however, the eventual pension benefits received are taxable. Thank you for watching. We hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please check out the link below for more information.